Hello, human. I'm Ho Bear the Meta Bear, a vaguely bear shaped geometric character in a video game. Ho Bear exists only to guide you through this world, such as it is. So when you skip my parts, that's kind of disrespecting my whole existence, okay? Okay, let's have some backstory. Pay attention to Ho Bear. <clears throat> Never and nowhere, there was this island called Kalimba, where a shaman woman watched over a totem pole as powerful as it was tall. And it was way tall. The people of Kalimba honored their shaman and lived in perfect spiritual harmony. <laughs> Early one morning, an evil shaman emerged from the black depths of the sea, determined to mess with the positive vibes surrounding the island. <laughs> the evil shaman off the good shaman and scattered her totems all over the island. But the shaman lady's spirit magically lived on, and now she travels the island locating the missing totem pieces to build an even taller totem pole, regain her powers, and reclaim Kalimba for the Kalimbis. Which is where you come in. Because if we let her do everything, there would be no game. The shaman lady, still in her spirit form, quickly learned she could possess the small totem pieces around the island. There's much more to this game than just the A button. Thank you. 
Awaits those who can pick up everything without losing a life. Welcome to the meta space. Hope Air has been prepping rooms in between the levels all around the island. It's something Hope Air calls extra content. Anywho, a challenge for you. Get more than 15 pickups and a door on the other side of the room will open. You need to make it out of the room alive. You won't be able to, of course. You're gonna die. That's why I'm throwing a sweet achievement into the challenge. 
Hey, if you feel like quitting, you can always jump back through the spiritual teleport you came from. Still kicking. Seems like you've mastered the double jump skill. You've earned your achievement. Ugh, old Bear doesn't care. Old Bear's got a ton of these things. And anyways, loads of people have scored way higher than you, so... important to use the double jump all the time, the good shaman told herself. Thank you. 
This was a strange cave, with a strange floor, totally slippery like some sort of low friction material. It's like you discover a strange orb and suddenly your whole world turns upside down.
This new ability was pretty fun, she thought. It was as if the game was now more than just a straight-up platformer. Thank <laughs> you. 
One time, she ran into a giant snake. He was sort of a boss in this first world, but the shaman wasn't worried. She already knew about his weak spots. Psst, the orange ones.
that sounded familiar and comforting, though it was anything but. The good shaman had never been so far from her village.
world had new and different ability orbs. See? Red with a bear on it.
She admired her new totem pole. It was getting really tall, she thought.
Why all the enemies, the shaman wondered? Did they have a purpose beyond chasing her around?
the shaman lady traveled, the more she could sense her evil counterpart's presence.
Some enemies are just too big to kill. Take Holbear's advice in those situations. Run. Run away. Run far away!
By Hobert's calculations, it's time for a boss fight right about now. Probably one where you'll have to size up.
Place of ethereal beauty. It seemed to be in the process of dissolving. Thank you. 
At this level, a new kind of enemy was waiting. The pink and yellow enemies. They were... Well, they were pink and yellow. Oh. 
Heed of Hobear. Pay attention to any items of color. They carry great meaning. Thank you. 
ya. Kalimba hides nine metaspace levels. To discover them all would be an achievement. Not like a cure for cancer achievement, but still. Oh, yeah. 
With her newfound abilities, she was able to ditch gravity altogether, which was great because this level was all vertical. Yeah. 
there was a great bird type boss in the end of upper world she wondered if it would be the final boss
did it! The evil shaman was no more, defeated by true spiritual courage and sent back to the place from whence he came. And will you look at that pole? Pretty, isn't it? All carved and totemy and tall. This is what perfect spiritual harmony looks like. Oh, Polar Bear's tired now, must rest. Leave me, human. Find your porpoise as you were born to do.